Hey, what's going on YouTube? Hiker Dave here. Hope everyone's doing okay. This is uh, part two. This is an area of the state forest that I come in often that has zero sign. And I had found this area and uh, it was during the winter. And I thought, wow, that's why is there nothing in this specific area? Why do I see nothing? No sapling breaks, uh, no tree leans forming an X. I don't see asterisks. I don't see any sign. I've never found prints in this area, and I have found a handful in this particular state forest. And I look to my left to my right, all along this area, I see nothing. I see no sign at all. Now, just, just saying, okay, so I Googled Earth. I Googled Earth this, this part of the trail, this part of the park. And because I'm like, why? What, what is, is it the terrain features? Is there something about the terrain here that makes it um, undesirable to, to inhabit, right? And so when I did Google Earth, this particular part of the park, I saw that it's completely surrounded on three sides, not completely surrounded. On three sides, it's surrounded by Lake Rico, which is a really big lake in, the, in this area. And my theory on this was it would be uh, not a good spot to get cornered in or a spot that you could get cornered in. I mean, look at all these saplings, all these saplings over here, and not one break. All these saplings next to me, not one break next to the trail. You know, and, and, and I'm trying to prove this to myself, uh, not to anybody else really, but to myself. And I believe in it. I believe in the reason why I don't see sign here is because of its lands, the, the, just the landscape and the terrain is not conducive, really. Uh, I don't think that Sasquatch would want to be in an area like this, um, only because it could get cornered in. Now, when I say nature is not selective, that is definitely different than natural selection, which is a biological thing. I'm not speaking biologically. I'm talking about nature. And, you know, natural selection, it's, you know, the, the strong survive, the weak get, uh, get killed and eaten, you know. I'm talking about nature in the literal sense that if nature breaks a sapling because of the wind or snow load, if that's how you want to write that off, that come on, hike it, Dave, you know that, that trees break in the forest. Well, I agree with you. It's very true. Trees break in the forest. Uh, snow load breaks trees and tree limbs and branches then how come there's nothing here why can i walk through this forest and look at all these saplings all these saplings and not find one single sapling break and you know i may sound a little passionate about it or maybe even frustrated and it's my own <coughs> pardon me it's my own frustration because I can go to, uh, I've gone to a state park before and I saw in, in my entire day's travel through the woods, um, I think it was Borderland State Park. It has a lot of history of stuff, Native American stuff, and but there's never been sightings there or anything. And not that I know of that there's ever been a sighting here 
in this day, Pac, either. But I, I'm, I'm getting off track. I spent the whole day hiking through the woods. And I saw not one sign. Not one sapling break. Not one stick lean. Uh, or tree lean where sometimes I'll find multiple trees, two or three trees leaned up against a big oak. And you say, geez, how did what, all three trees just fell and leaned up against the tree? Well, I can walk up to that tree and none of the trees grew there. So they were obviously picked up and placed. Human could have done it, yes, yep. And, and I, that can never be overlooked. But it's, it's in my opinion, in this area of this particular forest, part of a state forest, that I don't think that Sasquatch travel through this area of the park. And I'm not saying that because I just happened to hike down this trail. I've got hundreds of hours hiked here. I probably have close to 100 miles hiked in this state forest. I know a new sapling break from an old sapling break. And just in this video alone, guys, usually people pick stuff out that I might not have even seen. And they'll say, oh yeah, this sign all over. Did you see this? Did you see that? And I'm kind of thinking, you know, will that happen with this video? Is someone gonna point out a sapling break that I didn't see? Or a stick lean that I didn't notice? And, and I'm not pausing this video on purpose because I want you to see real time. All right, I got people coming my way. I just want, wanted to show you guys that in, in th this whole trail here, there's nothing where I can hike other trails in different parts of the forest and find multiple, multiple stick uh, sapling breaks. All right, guys, thank you so much for coming by. And as always, of course, I'll see you on the next one.